Hey, Nick Thomas here at the 11th Annual National Cyber Summit in Huntsville, Alabama, and I have sitting with me the Brigadier General Jennifer Buckner. She's the Director of Cyber for the U.S. Army for G3, G5, and G7. Welcome, ma'am. How are Thanks. you? Thanks for having me. So it was a great speech we just sat through at lunch. You just went on and on about modernization efforts of the Army, cyber talent development, and some a whole bunch of other things. So. Let's get started. Can you start talking about where the Army currently is and where you're going with cyber? I know that's a big question, but It is. High we level. just devoted <laughs> 45 minutes at lunch to talk about that. But um, thanks for the opportunity to highlight. You know, I kind of thanks I tried coming. to boil it down to three priorities uh, and really how we're looking at it. I think this is shared with uh, the services as well as U.S. Cyber Command. And how we would address, uh, we would include and integrate cyber in terms of readiness, risk, and then integrated capabilities across all of our, both the service, um, the forces that we present to the joint force, as well as our own service commands. Okay. So in the Army, that means we're growing cyber electronic warfare and information operations across every echelon. So a tactical uh, brigade combat team will soon have its own organic cyber EW and IO forces. That's, that's so a tremendous. cyber soldier. We, well, we it's have awesome, cyber soldiers right? already. Right. We're growing more of them okay. and bringing them again to every echelon, which I think is a, a really tremendous effort. Okay, cool. So um, it, you talked a little bit about industry partnership you're going to need help with. Can you explain, explain that a little bit? It's really great to connect with so many industry partners here um, who are investing significantly <laughs> in um, cyber talent development. Um, and that means everything from you know uh, sponsoring Gen Cyber Com Camps with Cyber Command and the National Security Agency, um, local coding camps. I love the Girls Who Code um, efforts. Uh, Go Girls Cyber Start. I think there are some robotics and um, teams and cyber defense competitive teams that are competing at the local level. Uh, cyber Patriot teams and coaching. Industry is really key to those partnerships, and we know that we we can't assess uh, cyber soldiers um, unless they have some foundational elements that really start as young as kindergarten. And so the industry partnerships here have been key to developing cybersecurity talent, not just for the Army uh, and not just for the military, but certainly for our nation. Okay, so um, I know you had six level of efforts for the modernization. You want to talk about those a little bit? Yeah, thanks for the, <laughs> the ability to highlight um, the, six, the Army's six modernization priorities because we're really looking not just to deliver cyber niche cyber solutions, but really to present cyber as a part of these modernization priorities. Uh, long range precision fires, next generation combat vehicle, future vertical lift, network, air and missile defense, and soldier lethality. As a part of soldier, or we, we also have two cross-cutting efforts. That's uh, our virtual reality training environment, which includes a synthetic training environment and cyber range aspect. Uh, as well as assured or resilient PNT. Awesome, that, that was a lot of stuff I know. to go through. I, but again, not presenting cyber solutions, but instead integrating cyber across all of those uh, modernization and readiness priorities. All right, General, well, we thank you for your time. Thank I know you. you're a busy lady. Thanks, Nick, so, I appreciate it. All right, thanks, thanks for coming out. Have a good one.